The Filtral 5000 is a multifunctional solution for owners of smaller ponds and water features. The compact design features an integrated 2,500 litre per hour pump, an 11 watt ultraviolet clarifier and mechanical biological filter media. The Filtral is designed to keep ponds of up to 5,000 litres clear and healthy for all pond inhabitants. Oaza offer a clear water guarantee when used correctly. There is also a connection for air hose, so targeted oxygenation of the pond and in particular the filter media is easily achieved through the use of an external air pump. The Filtral 5000 is fully submersible and its integrated features mean there is no need for an unsightly pond filter on the side of the pond. Everything is built into the unit and remains hidden inside the pond. Installation is quick and simple, thanks to the single electrical cable required. Installation Firstly, remove all packaging and read the instruction manual carefully to familiarise yourself with the product and the accessories. If you intend to add aeration to the filtral using an external air pump such as the Aqua Oxy, this should be fitted now. Remove the top half of the casing by pulling aside the two clamps on the bottom half of the casing. Remove the filter foam. Place the aeration stone between the gravel bags and route the air hose to the air connector on the inside of the casing. Connect air hose to the air connector on the outside of the casing and join to the aeration pump. Replace the filter foam and replace the top of the casing, taking care to route the cable correctly. Ensure the engagement clamps lock into position. Screw the bend onto the outlet on top of the filtral, using the O-ring supplied. Cut down the stepped hose tail to the correct diameter and then push it onto the hose and secure with a hose clip. Screw onto the bend and then route to a waterfall or water feature for example. Place the filtral in the pond on a firm level base and ensure that the hoses are correctly routed. Connect the power supply to the unit and check for operation of the water flow and the UVC. The UVC function can be seen through the inspection window next to the outlet connection on the top of the filtral. Always consult a qualified electrician when installing any electrical equipment in your garden and remember to disconnect the power supply before entering the water or performing any maintenance tasks on your pond and pond equipment. Maintenance Before performing any maintenance on your pond equipment, always disconnect the power supply prior to commencing any work. Remove the filtral from the pond, taking care not to pull the electrical cable. Disconnect the outlet hose tail from the bend. Disconnect the air hose if required, then place the filtral on a clean, flat surface. Remove the bend from the outlet. Remove the top of the casing by releasing the clamps from the bottom half of the casing. Remove the UVC unit and the pump together. Then remove all of the foams and filter media, placing the air stone to one side if being used. Clean the media in pond water and clean the strainer casing using clean water and a brush. Unscrew the pump from the UVC housing. Remove the pump housing by rotating anti-clockwise and pull out the rotor. Clean the rotor and the rotor chamber of the pump using clean water and a soft brush. Replace the rotor in the chamber and replace the pump housing. To clean the UVC, press on the engagement lug at the unit head and rotate anti-clockwise. Then carefully pull out the head unit from the housing. Clean the housing with clean water and a soft brush. Clean the quartz sleeve using clean water and a soft cloth. To change the UVC lamp, remove the screw and unscrew the retaining nut from the base of the quartz sleeve. Carefully remove the quartz sleeve and o-ring, then remove the UVC lamp and replace. Check the quartz sleeve and o-ring for damage and replace if necessary. Slide the quartz sleeve over the lamp, then replace the retaining nut and screw into place. Replace the UVC unit into the housing and rotate to lock into place. Reconnect the pump to the UVC housing. 
Place the biosurface elements and gravel bags into the bottom of the strainer casing and replace the air stone if required. Replace the foam filters, then place the pump and UVC into the casing. Replace the top of the casing, ensuring the catches engage on the bottom half of the casing. Replace the air hose if required and the outlet bend and hose tail. Then return the filtral to the pond. Connect the power supply and check for operation.